Let's start my presentation. Hello guys, I'm very proud to be here with you because you are the most talented people across your nations, I believe it. And you are here in Tomsk. Tomsk is a very prominent educational center in the world, I believe it. So, I would like to talk with you today about soft skills as the philosophy of success. So, my name is Sergei Garafiev and we can consider myself from different points of view. First of all, I'm a human, particularly I'm a man, 33 years old. So, I'm a founder of Rubia's company. This is an engineering and enterprise software development company uh, with about 120 smart techies on board. So, regarding companies, I would have you ever thought about that often there are several companies in the market segment, for example, producing smartphones or selling food or developing video games, whatever. And they are all doing the same thing. But some of them take off, others do not. So, why? So, they look pretty similar. All of them, they have director and workers, strategic plans and workflows, and even pretty office manager and coffee machine. What the matter? <clears throat> Probably money? Nope. Size? But all of top five world corporations started their business in a garage. And uh, so they killed the huge corporations that used to be very uh, powerful and mighty. So probably luck? Um, I think, yeah, but we, we can't rely on it. So the main difference is people. If we could ask Henry Ford, the maybe most one of the most outstanding entrepreneur in the world ever. Hey, Henry, what makes you cool? He would answer us. You can take my factories, burn up my buildings, but give me my people and I'll build the business right back again. So, since we are working on this workshop that is dedicated to some technologies, just imagine that we need to build a dream team in text. And, for example, we want to code the very best project in the world. So, no brainer. Just by right programmers. Who, can, who know tons of languages and technologies, of course, then can code anything in one night and must be a nerdy introverts, like very stern and silent. So, okay. Let's put together a team of four. This is our manager. This is the first programmer, the second, the third, and the last one. They are pretty introverts people, as you can see. Look at them. So, this is why manager is very happy. <laughs> but in a while, he is noticing that something is going go wrong. And they face different problems, like they pass their deadlines, the clients are not satisfied, and the team is always fighting and arguing. So, what's the matter? There is no team here. This is the reason. Often there are people, but no team. So, what team is? Team is a group of individuals who share work and responsibility amongst themselves in order to achieve specific results. In two words, they work together. It means teamwork. And they are responsible for the result. So they are result driven. How to recognize bad team player? They think that, for example, this is not my problem. This is not his part of roles, responsibilities. 
or you are the boss, I am a fool, I was told. So he's very passive, he's not interested in results. Or I didn't tell so what, failure to share info with colleagues and customers. And I'm D'Artagnan, I'm so smart and you are so stupid. So, of course, prone to conflict and unable to listen to. This is quite a typical situation, I think. Everybody knows somebody who thinks like that. So, how, what can we do with these bad team players? Of course, first of all, you need to try to inspire them and motivate to share these uh, team values. It looks like that. <laughs> if they don't care, there is only one thing to do. Just make them free. <laughs> Yeah, in the words like, sorry guys, but I have to deal with this project somehow. So, and then put together an actually good team players. So, what personal skills are responsible for teamwork and being result driven? Skills we can divide to two different categories hard and soft. Hard skills can be monitored, measured, and demonstrated like driving a car, knowing C++ syntax, or being fluent in English, and soft skills, difficult to test or clearly demonstrate, like communication, management, relations, listening to and understanding others, negotiations, decision-making, leadership, training people, motivation, and different strategy of quite strange stuff like cross-cultural cooperation in distributed teams. How can I measure that? Professional competence is uh, just a combination of hard and soft skills all together. So hard skills is technologies, workflow process tools and etc. Soft skills are work with people, opinion, professional intuition, intuition based on professional experience and ability to learn. There are different software engineering components and models. For example, this is Swego. This is an attempt to measure programmer's skills. And so you can see that it depends on cognitive skills then behavior, so like you act, and requisite knowledge tools and uh, methodology and so on, and related disciplines. For example, if you want to develop neural networks, you, you have to be good at math. So we got that these guys are, that's not, they don't fit our team requirements. So what does a real team look like? So let's see a short Soviet.
kind of engineers. So they work together to complete tasks. They are flexible in planning their work according to changing environment. This is Tim Lee. <laughs> he does not give orders, only point, points out problems and general direction of their work and takes on the most difficult parts. This is a manager. <laughs> Ensures good working conditions for engineers, doing only when there are problems or when communication with the clients breaks down. So this is my dream to be such a cool manager like she is. This is customer and user. They genuinely upset when things go wrong. But nevertheless, genuinely happy when everything works out. This is this admins. I think so. They usually sleep in and act only when there are infrastructure issues. But by the way, they are very good as a team either. So that's it. Some outcomes. The most important part of any company, people. A heap of people is not a team. Team players work together, results driven. Soft skills are crucial for your success. And Soviet cartons are also awesome. <laughs> That's true. So I would like to wish you creative inspiration and no issues with your projects. And so we are here, and I would like to keep uh, uh, you to keep up this friendship between Russian nation and your nations uh, to create some joint projects and make our world better. So let's just keep up working as a team, because now we know how it works. So that's it, thank you.